Dividend investors, bonjour. This is Mikey, who founder of Dividend Stocks Rocks and passionate investor. Uh, today, I'm answering Hamilton's question about how can you generate income as a retiree in this 0% interest world. Uh, the problem that we have been hitting so far when the market for retirees or people that are about to retire is there is no more safe haven for their money. Uh, you know, for decades we have been told and we have been instructed to save our money, make a big nest egg, and then once you're about to retire, put a big chunk of that into safe fixed income, generating likely 5-6% in interest, in interest rate, uh, so more than enough to retire, capital is steady, you protect your investment and you generate income as you go and you can just retire happy. Now this model has been first hit back in 2008 during the crisis when interest rate went down uh, and then some retirees said well you know what we're going to go into safer dividend stocks such as utilities to compensate and we'll try to do a mix between fixed income and a little bit of dividend growers. Now the economy has been booming for 10 years so all mediocre companies paying a high yield kind of like flew under the radar, nobody paid attention, debt was cheap, economy was booming, and there was an appetite for debt actually, so people didn't mind about buying more corporate bonds. So everything was working in the perfect world until we hit another recession, and this time we're walking in through a big cloud of nothing. We have no clue how the virus will impact the economy over the long term. What we know is interest rates are at its lowest point, Bonds and preferred ETF dropped in value while they were supposed to be safe. And I'm going to make a small parenthesis right here. The reason why this happened is because there was no liquidity on the market. So basically, if nobody wants to buy corporate bonds, an ETF based on corporate bonds cannot worth what it used to worth for a few weeks ago, right? So the problem was more offer and demand. There was no more demand for bonds, price drop. We should see that being recovered over time because we should know if the bond worth something or not because that's the problem right now. A lot of people, they don't know what's going to happen with corporate bonds or preferred shares because we don't even know if the company will survive this crisis or not. This is why bonds and preferred shares have dropped in value along with the rest of the market. So today you're sitting there with your nest egg, you work very hard and it's very difficult because you're at the point where you want to withdraw money from your portfolio, but you cannot generate additional income, you cannot put capital back and you cannot even benefit from that crisis to buy cheaper stocks. There's three things, there are three things that you can do with your portfolio. The first one is a little bit harder to do right now, but we have discussed this at DSR the first time in 2018 and then again in 2019 when the market was at its all time high. The first time that you should do when you're retired or about to retire is to have 12 to 24 months worth of your retirement budget in cash. This would be your cash reserve. So when you go through times like right now, you don't have to worry about anything. You just withdraw money from your cash reserve and you keep on your retirement life. Second thing that you should do is to focus on safe dividend growers. No, don't go for MLPs, for example, or BDCs or those high 7, 8, 10% yielders. Look at companies that will keep doing business. So classic consumer staples, healthcare, Utilities as well. If you're in Canada, you might want to take a look at telecoms and banks. Um, mind you, I would not be surprised if we go into scenario a catastrophic scenario that Canadian banks would have to suspend their dividend for a while. Um, however, last week, all CEOs, they came out out loud saying, we trust our business model, we are well capitalized and we have no intention of cutting down our dividend. So that is good, but it's good for today. You know, I'm a father of three children. I love them with all my heart and I want to make sure that I put food on the table every single day for them, right? But the thing is, if I live in a desert and everybody else has no more food, no matter how I love my children, I will not be able to put food on the table if there's no more food in the world. 
This is pretty much what's happening with dividend as well. So if banks are running out of cash at one point, which is absolutely not the case right now, so don't go crazy. It's not the case right now, but if they run out of cash because this situation is being dragged for six months, well, they, they will eventually suspend their dividend. They will not go bankrupt. They will be banked by the federal government and eventually they're going to build up and resume this dividend growth policy in any case. So this is the second thing you should do. Look at safer places to put your money um, to generate a three, four percent yield, maybe five right now because some stocks are, are depreciated in prices. Don't go for something higher than that. It will not work. It will fluctuate too much and you may lose your money. The last thing that you want right now is to suffer dividend cut, obviously, because you count on this to generate income. So once you have one to two years in uh, cash reserve and you have a portfolio generating roughly 4% in yield, this brings you enough cash flow every quarter in your cash reserve to preserve that for probably two to uh, two to four years. Um, technically, if we run into a big recession, it's going to take four or five years to get out of it. So you should be good to last this one. The third thing that you should do uh, if you look for income as a retiree is probably to look at um, something incredibly counterintuitive and against the law of dividend investing, but to sell some shares. You know, if you have, I'm a big fan of, of old tech stocks. So the old companies that were tech stocks like 20 years ago, and now they're paying dividend companies like Microsoft or Apple or Texas Instruments, for example, uh, Open Text, Scilogist in Canada, those businesses are full of cash. They have, they are low in debt and they have a business model that goes pretty well with uh, social distancing and economic lockdown. Most of their business is able to still run while everything is on pause. So those businesses will not offer you generate yield, a generous yield. You're talking about 1%, 2% yield. I know you cannot live on that. But look at how Microsoft did since the beginning of the year. Uh, the market is down 20% as of this morning, roughly, and Microsoft is actually showing, is actually trading in positive value, maybe like two, 3% or even more because yesterday was a crazy day on the market, right? But the point being, tech stocks right now outperform, old tech stocks, dividend growers outperform the rest of the market because they have lots of liquidity. Um, I wouldn't mind selling a few shares of Apple or Microsoft in my portfolio if it means that I have enough money this month to retire happy and stay healthy, right? Um, so basically the three things you can do, make sure you have a cash reserve, then focus on dividend growers, three, four percent yield, sometimes five, but not more than that. Focus on dividend safety. So then again, consumer staples. Uh, utilities, telecoms, financials, those are healthcare. Those are companies that are likely less going to be impacted by the recession. Then look at the possibility of selling shares. Uh, you know, there are like great companies here that are not having a huge yield, but they are strong businesses nonetheless. If you sell a few shares, you'll be able to generate enough income. Um, yes, you can go with 20 to 30% in a bond ETF or preferred shares, but you've seen how it, it has been managed so far in this year. It's not the perfect situation. And I understand that you would like to put all your money into a four or five percent yield interest bond for uh, for the rest of your life, but it's not happening right now. We have to find other solutions, which includes dividend stocks and selling shares. Um, this is unfortunate, but it's pretty much how you can generate income right now at a time of retirement. Uh, keep in mind that once this virus is contained, economy is going to go back in. Uh, we're going to go through a recession, but after the recession, you know what happens? Economic boom. So you want to make sure that you have those companies in your portfolio now so they grow in value later down the road. And at that point, you'll be able to sell some shares, build your cash reserve, rinse, repeat, and get to that safe point where you can retire stress-free. If you have any other questions about retirement and generating income, please let me know in the comment. Please let me know also how you're doing right now, how you manage your portfolio to generate income. Maybe you have other, uh, other ideas like selling covered call or something like that. So in the comment section, 
Let me know what is your solution to generate income as a retiree right now. And don't forget to subscribe the, uh, right there, no, right there. Subscribe the um, YouTube subscription button to make sure that you get the notification. I do two, three videos a week. Um, I used to be well, a daily video. Uh, right now, I don't feel that there's an urge for that, but I will keep making two, three videos every week. So uh, stay safe, stay home. We're almost done. We're gonna get through this. Take care and stay invested. Cheers.